Hi, I'm Elizabeth Hall with Smart Office Help Social Media Management, and I'm here today to show you how to add your RSS feed to Scoopit. Scoopit is a content curation website, and here you can share articles, you can curate content, and you can add your RSS feed also so that others can curate content from you. So I'm going to show you how to do that today. First of all, you're going to go to the home page for Scoopit. And if you haven't already signed up for an account, it's very simple. It only takes a few minutes to do and it's free. They do have some paid accounts as well that have some added features. But I would suggest just signing up for the free account first to see if it's something that you would be interested in. So next, you're going to go over, once you've already signed up, you'll go over to where it has your name. Just click on you, and it's going to take you basically to your dashboard. And here in the dashboard, you're going to see the topics that you've set up. When you did your setup, it's going to ask you to set up some topics. And here I just have one set up, and I believe you can set up five topics. But for training purposes, this should do fine. So I'm going to click on this topic because this is where I want my RSS feed to show up. And the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to go over to suggestions. And if the suggestions tab doesn't pop up for you, just click this little button here that says suggestions and it'll come up. Next, you'll go to manage sources. And here in the Manage Sources, you'll see a couple of tabs. You have your Manage Sources and your Actual Sources. So in your Actual source Sources, this shows what is already showing up in um, under your topics. So, But we want our RSS feed in here. So here, we're going to go to Advanced Options. And where it says RSS feed URL, you're going to stick in your US, your your URL. So here I'm going to put in smartofficehelp.com slash blog slash feed. And I made sure that I checked that feed and that it works before I put it in. And I said add feed. Now I've already added this feed. So as you can see, it tells me the source is already added. So if I look over here on this side where it has sources, go down you'll see where I added the feed. And I actually added the blog feed and I added the home feed as well. So that's why I have two feeds showing here. So now let's go back over to the topic. So let's go back to topic. And you'll see the suggestions will come out. And if you look down, this is actually a post that I posted today. Seven fantastic tips for creating social media content in a pinch, and it shows as a suggestion. So, anyone else um, on here will actually be able to pick up information from my feed to curate their content. And it's a great way to share your information and pick up other information. If you have any social media related topics or questions for me, please leave them in the comments. I'll be happy to answer them for you and I may answer them on a future video. So with that, go out and grow your business using social media. Have a great day.